Right everyone, Wemp Electric here. Right, I thought I'd do a video regarding Prepper's Shop and the fact that they're shutting down their knife department, knife sewing department. So yeah, quite gutting news for quite a lot of people because if you're like me, you probably bought quite a few of your knives through Prepper's Shop, especially your budget knives. So yeah, if you didn't know, they're basically being almost forced into not selling knives anymore. Now I'll read exactly what it says. I won't read the whole email, but I'll read what they've said. The persecution of responsible knife sellers behind the scenes by large corporate companies is insane. As well as recent law changes that have passed which unjustly target legal knife sellers. As a company, we are proud that we have always had the most stringent checks and have always gone above and beyond the legal requirement. So as the, as the statement says there, they're basically being forced into it by large corporate companies. Now I don't know what that actually means. Is it banks? Are they just referring to the government? I don't know. Uh, they do say later on in the email that they'll clarify that later on. So if, it, if people are interested, I will uh, do a video later on um, actually letting you know what is going on. Because I find that quite interesting. It's shocking really. I didn't know... You know, I knew that the police sometimes pressured um, shops into not selling knives, legal knives as well, that's the thing. Um, but I did not know other other companies or, or whatever are, are doing it. And I actually think that's fucking sick, in all honesty, because Prepper's Shop are selling perfectly legal knives in a 100% legal way, you know, doing all the checks they're supposed to do, and they're doing nothing wrong. If, you know, if there are idiots who are buying knives, that's not down to Prepper's shop, or, and you, this is slightly related, or Anglo Arms. Anglo Arms have been pressured into basically changing their name through um, bad press and probably similar things to this. And again, I think that's sick. Why should, just because of idiots doing things, why should that reflect on the companies I, I think that's totally wrong so yeah you will not be able to buy knives from Prepper's shop now sadly luckily for them though they're big enough in other ways that they can still carry on so they're just going to do the survival sort of um, you know not, not survival camping survival all that kind of stuff you know that kind of um, bushcraft kind of stuff instead now just not with, just without the knives but yeah I think that's very wrong so one thing I would say, right now they're doing a sale if you if you want to do that. Um, if they've got to get rid of it, go and buy it. So I'll leave the link in the description to uh, Prepper Shop Sale. And um, I hope you carry on uh, nice and strong, Prepper Shop, because you deserve it. Because um, I think it's sick that you're being forced into basically not selling things that are perfectly legal to buy and sell and own. Yeah, I think it's madness really. So yeah, there you go. Feel free to discuss it. If you're watching this video and you want to know future news on anything like this, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well and do some kind of notification then you'll know when I do a video. I do lots of videos based on current weapon laws and changes and stuff like that and anything like this that will affect buyers, collectors, consumers, stuff like that. So if you want to know your quite up-to-date UK weapon laws and stuff that's affecting us, I will do videos on it. So don't forget to subscribe, all right? So yeah, sad news there, but at least Prepper Shop can carry on with their website, unlike Blades and Bows, which shut down completely, which at the time was very gutting as well. There you go, all right? Thank you for watching. I would say hope you enjoyed it, but... <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, don't forget to subscribe as I said. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.